What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Trey Sense here. Listen, don't have a review today. Uh, what I do have is just a slight, a little bit of a discussion. I just wanted to talk for a second and say something and get something off my chest. If there's a fragrance that you like, that you like, that you've been wearing, that you love, or whatever, just because it's not a popular fragrance doesn't mean that it's not a good fragrance. It's 2020. Let's not get caught up in the name game or the hype game when it comes to fragrances. Because let's just be honest, some of this stuff is overpriced. Most of it is overpriced. And it is overhyped. So be very, very careful. Ain't nothing wrong with getting fragrances from TJ Maxx, Burlington, Burks, Marshalls, Ross, eBay, yard sales. Wherever you find a good deal, it's a good deal. And if it's a fragrance that you like, hey, spray up, man. Spray up. Keep your pump fake game going. Don't let somebody else talk you into a fragrance that you really don't like. And then you're looking at the price tag and go, but I paid this for it. And the reason that I'm saying that is this. I use Scentbird um, as a sub service. That's where I get my niche fragrances. Uh, I just got my monthly sub in, my monthly uh, cologne in. I do two a month, cost me 25 bucks. Hey, that works for me. I'm not saying you should do it, but that's what works for me. <clears throat> I, I was excited, you know, to get my fragrance, my fragrances. I got them, sprayed them. Psh. Hit the pump fake, and I was like, ooh, that smells good. And then I took a deep breath, and I was like, but that smells just like. And then I sprayed the other one. Ooh, that smells good too. But the point that I'm making is, if I were to have purchased four bottles of these at full retail, full presentation, it probably would have cost me six or $700 for two bottles of fragrances that are almost identical to other fragrances. One of them, Smells like Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, which is one of my favorite fragrances. I love Tom Ford Grey Vetiver. It's a great smelling fragrance. Was not expecting this one to smell like it. Even though it's a vetiver fragrance, wasn't expecting it to smell like Tom Ford. It's way more expensive than Tom Ford. Way more expensive. And that's exactly what it smells like. The other one smells like, uh, it. I, I, on initial spray, it actually reminded me of uh, uh, Zaharoff Signature Per Home. So it's, it's an old school barbershop type of fragrance. It smells great. But I thought, man, if I had paid full retail for this, I'm looking at three to $400 for a bottle of cologne that I can get way cheaper. So the point I'm trying to make is, guys, don't get caught up in the hype, man. Don't get caught up in the hype. Do your research. If you can get you some decants, get you a decan. If you can get you a sample, get you a sample. Do your homework. Do your research. Let guys like uh, listen to some of the reviewers in the sense of what it smells like. Now, you have to make your own decision on whether it's worth it or not. That's what we're here for. You know, we create this content so that, you know, we can give you feedback so you don't, you don't have to make some of the same mistakes. I mean, just being honest with you. If you don't, you know, like a bond number nine fragrance. So what is it? New Harlem? If you don't want to pay that, go get Michael Jordan Legend. I promise you, you're going to get the same vibe. It's not going to matter to you. You know, you ain't, you know, save that money. You know, because, you know, Michael Jordan Legend is what, 12 bucks? 13 bucks? Bond number nine is what, 150 That's a big difference. That's $140 that you can do real life stuff with. So don't get caught up in the hype. Is, is, is all I'm trying to say. Don't get caught up in the hype. Don't get caught up in the name game. If the fragrance smells good to you and you like the fragrance, go with it. Don't matter what the price of it is, what the name on the outside of the bottle is, whatever, because there's only so many perfumers and uh, <clears throat> bottlers in the world or whatever they call them, perfumeries or whatever. It's only so many in the world. So some of these, some of these high-end designers are, are, and uh, niche clones are bound to be bottled in the same places as some of this other stuff is so but anyway just a little rant just a little talk that's all it is hope everybody's having a good tuesday and enjoyed that national championship game last night i was pulling for clemson they didn't pull for me though they came up a little bit short but you know it's been a good run for them boys so you know congratulations to them tigers i guess the lsu tigers anyway hope everybody's having a good tuesday be sure to like Share this video, subscribe, and comments. My comments hadn't been working. 
I don't know what's been going on. Um, the last two, three videos I put up, I couldn't even see the comments. So maybe it's fixed now. I don't know. I think it was a YouTube glitch. So maybe it's fixed now. But anyway, sorry to be so long on this video about nothing. But that's just my take on it. Remember, guys, if you like it, it doesn't matter what anybody else says about it, myself included. Myself included. You just, if you like it, spray it. Don't, don't matter what it costs, where you get it, whatever. If you, if you happy with it, be happy with it. Because I'm telling you, it's not a whole lot of originality out there anymore. So don't think you're missing out on anything because you don't have 70,000 bottles of niche, you know, in your collection. And now, those that like niche, a lot of those guys do just what I said. They do their research. They know exactly what they're getting. So, and that's just what you have to do. If you like cologne, sometimes you have to do a little study and to get what you want. And most niche guys are that way. Most guys that like just niche fragrances, they, they're up on it. They know exactly what they're getting. They know when they're fixing to get a pissy, stanky, barnyard oud, and that's what they want. That's what they get. That's what they like. So, you know. All right, guys, I'm fixing to get off here. I hope everybody's having a great Tuesday. Uh, I got a few more reviews I'm going to do. I may do another one today. Just see how this one goes. All right, guys, I'm going to get off it for real this time. Hope you all have a great day. Until next time, like, share, and subscribe. Peace.